Hello everyone. The already very large King Air family of twin turboprop aircraft now has a new member with Textron just having launched the new 360 model. That features improvements in both the cockpit and the cabin. And here to tell us more about that is Rob Scholl, who is the company's Senior Vice President for Sales and Flight Operations. So first of all, Rob, please tell us what's new in terms of the performance that the 360 will offer when deliveries begin in this coming fall. We think the 360 really adds some new benefits, both for the pilots up front and passengers in the back, and also helps with the maintainability of the aircraft uh, up front and for the pilots. The biggest thing that we have is the new ISNS Thrust Sense Auto Throttle, which really provides full envelope protection for the pilots, decreasing their workload and allowing them to focus on what's important flying the airplane. Uh, also up front, we have a new digital pressurization system. So gone is the manual system that's been in the King Airs for a while. So again, uh, reduces the pilot workload, but also helps to provide a more comfortable experience for the passengers in the back. Um, it eliminates any pressurization bumps that may have happened in the past. That combined with a few structural enhancements we've made to the airplane, it now results in a 10% lower cabin pressure altitude. For the passengers, so it's below 6,000 feet when the airplane's at flight level 270. So I think that that'll help the pilots, obviously up front, but it'll provide a better experience for passengers in the back. And then in the cabin of the airplane, Christy Tannehill and her interior design team have really done a great job of doing a big makeover to the the King Air 360. And so you have a new modern styling in the back of the airplane that does provide a little bit more room for passengers. Um, also uh, provides a little bit better ergonomics. So they've done a lot of work with sculpting of the seats um, and coming up with a much more comfortable seat for the passengers in the back. And then we've also made some few changes in the airplane as well to make it easier to maintain. Um, all of those things combined together really just provide a overall uh, a better package for our customers. And we're really excited to launch the King Air 360 and 360R today. Good to hear that. Just quickly back to that auto throttle, you mentioned uh, envelope protection. For the benefit of non-pilots, what are we really talking about there? What, what is the protection uh, for? Yeah, sure. So it provides protection for a few things. Obviously, the auto throttle works from takeoff to landing. Um, if there is an engine out scenario with the King Air, it allows for um, to take off and climb with the airplane. Um, it also provides protection for over torque and over temp situations with the airplane. So the ISNS system, I think, is going to be a great upgrade for the, the King Air family. And it will be available as an aftermarket mod as well for the 300 series for all of those airplanes that are already out there in the field. So it's been a great partnership with ISNS, bringing that to the marketplace. And we're excited to bring that to our customers. Superb. And in the cabin, I saw some of the pictures. I mean, that's certainly a, a, a very sharp look that you've got going on there. Is it going to feel different in terms of comfort levels for people sitting in that cabin? Is is the spacing any different or the, the uh, structure of the seats any different? Sure. So Christy and her team have done a great job of taking what they've learned from our jets and also what we're doing on some of our new products like the Longitude and the Denali to bring that to the King Air 360. There, It will feel a little bit more spacious. A few things that have been done is the sidewalls have been re-sculpted and thinned down a little bit to provide a little bit more space on the sides. The seats have also been tweaked to provide a little bit more room. But more importantly with the seats, Christy and her team have used technology to do digital pressure mapping of how customers actually sit on the seats. And then they've been able to tweak the foam and other parts of the seat structure to just provide a better overall experience for the customer. So I think, I think our customers will notice a big difference. And then obviously, uh, Christy and the team have come up with some new interiors this year that I think look really nice. Combine that with our King Ranch edition that we have. Um, it's mm -hmm. been out there for a couple of years and had a great reception from customers. Overall, that combines bring a great package of the new King Air 360. Sure. That's interesting. And just quickly, of course, you know, these, these are exceptional times uh, for, the, for the whole aviation sector. Here you are launching uh, a new model or at least a derivative of, of an existing family. Um, the King Air has always struck me as being a very pragmatic and flexible aircraft that can, can serve a lot of different missions. Do you think, you know, maybe the time is right, uh, particularly now for an aircraft like this, when people are perhaps looking at new ways to travel around and keep themselves safe? No, absolutely. Obviously, the worldwide pandemic has created a lot of difficulties for people all over the world. Obviously, the human impact uh, cannot be overstated. And, you know, we've done a lot over the past several months with our employees to try to help adjust our production to produce face masks and face shields for local first responders. 
Um, and our employees have made a lot of sacrifices uh, as we all took furloughs um, back in the March and April timeframe. So it's really good to shift to some positive news to talk about. Um, we had the Sky Courier a few weeks ago, obviously the King Air 360 now. So what we're focused on is continuing to invest in new products and new services that provide value to our customers. And like you mentioned, the King Air has always been a unique product in that it serves a variety of missions around the world. Um, obviously, for our owners that just fly it for personal travel, it's in fleets as well, like uh, Wheels Up flies the King Air 350, mm. but a lot of special missions applications. And what has been um, reassuring to me from a business perspective over the last few months is that our King Air demand has remained strong, largely, as you say, with that versatility that the airplane has. So we've had retail customers who have been purchasing the airplane, but also strong special missions activity with orders from organizations like the Royal Flying Doctors, uh, the Customs and Border Patrol here in the U.S. And so I, I do think as we go forward, the world will need a versatile airplane like the King Air and do everything that it can do. And I think the 360 will just add to that proud legacy of being a versatile, powerful aircraft. Fantastic. Well, we do appreciate you taking the time to explain all that to us. And uh, this is indeed exciting news. So thanks so much for joining us, Rob. Thank you. And thank you for all that you do for aviation. We appreciate it.